Are you looking for a product to sell on Amazon FBA? Don't you wish there was someone who could come along and slap you in the face the first time that you were about to sell a product that could destroy your life and destroy your wallet? Well, we are those people and we're about to do some face slapping. So stick with us. These are the products that you do not want to sell on Amazon FBA because they will ruin your wallet and not allow you to buy that new car with your new Amazon FBA business. Stick with us. What's up guys? We're back up? again. We're here. We're living life. We're doing things. So today we want to take you through products or more so categories that you should not sell on Amazon. That's okay? Right. Don't do them. Now, I have a couple caveats. The first caveat is, is that the first couple, they're a little obvious. Okay? We're going to go through those, but stick around till the end because as we get further down in the list, we're actually going to give you categories that we specifically don't like, don't want to sell for yeah. one reason or another. And so stick around for those even if the first couple are obvious. That's right. The second caveat that I want to give you to this video is as we go through these, what these really are are barriers to entry, mm -hmm. okay? So I'll explain a little bit more on this, but if you are willing to go through the work, go through the trouble, go through the money mm -hmm. to do some of these things, it can be good yeah. if you're willing to put in more money, more time, more effort because yep. it's a barrier to entry, right? It's hard for you to enter, but it's also hard for other people to enter, so it can limit your competition. That's, That's a really good point. So let's get started with this. Kale, what's number one? Yeah, number one is heavy stuff. So you've heard this before, obviously. You do not want to sell something for your first product, for sure, that is super heavy. You don't want to sell something that's 50 pounds for one unit. Why, you ask? Why, Kale? Should I not do that? Because the product is coming from overseas, and shipping is a huge part of your cost, a huge part. If you order a 500 units, maybe they're $2 each. Some, that's a $1,000 total order, right? Sometimes your shipping can be double what your actual unit cost is, so it could end up being $6 total landed. You could pay $2,000 for shipping. I hope that makes sense, but sometimes your shipping is the biggest cost, actually most of the time, so really keep that weight down. Yep. Number two, this one is kind of weird, but I want you to hear me out. Light but high volume things, okay? Mm. So lightweight is good, right? Kel just went over heavy stuff. Lightweight yeah. is good, but what you don't want is something that's light but takes up a lot of room. One of the products that we've sold before, your arms are so long. Woo. One of the products that we've talked <laughs> about before is a baby pillow, baby sleep positioner. And it was, mm. it was pretty big, like it fit in this crib, like it was pretty big and yeah. it was light. It weighed like under a pound, yep. but it was, it was big. Like yeah. it was all compressed and stuff in the box, but it was big which increased our shipping costs once again, yeah. okay? Now, just to point this out, it's the last time I'm gonna mention it, but these barriers to entry, selling heavy stuff, selling light but high, vol but high volume stuff, right? That's something that a lot of people won't do. Mm -hmm. If you're willing and able to find a product that is heavy or has high volume and is light, right? You can sell it, but make sure you're gonna be able to get a premium price because it's a barrier to entry for That's somebody right. else. Yep. Just wanted to mention it again. Now we're done. Kale, what's number three? Number three. Three. Steph Curry with the shot. Okay, sorry. Plug for Steph Curry. Anyway, electronics. Don't sell electronics for your first product. Uh, again, like Taylor said, there are exceptions to this. We actually have a couple electronics products. But with electronics, I don't know if you guys have done this, but when's the last time you've been on your phone and you and something hasn't worked like the minute it's supposed to, like the, the second it's supposed to, right? And you were just like, I hate this iPhone. And so, you like it, wanna, it's, it's, it's my already fault. broken, but it's my phone. <laughs> and you're trying to throw your iPhone across the room when it is a miraculous piece of technology that took billions and billions and billions. Yep. I hope you've seen that video and billions, billions of dollars to make, right? You wanted to throw your iPhone. Imagine if you want to throw a crappy something from China that cost you two dollars to make, right? If it, people just, I don't know what it is, but people get pissed off when yep. their electronics don't work. Right. And you're buying like cheap electronics from China, there's bound to be something that's gonna go wrong. So yep. don't do that for your first product. Electronics can also have like, you have to get like special certifications and stuff yeah. that are expensive to get. Yep. Just another thing. So number four is easily breakable products, mm. okay? So, you know, you don't want something that's easily breakable. You don't want something that's going to be glass because when you look at, I, I, Kale was actually talking about this the other day, we were talking about this the other day, but it's like, you know, they have to manufacture in China, then it gets thrown in a box, then it gets thrown on a boat or thrown on an airplane and gets shipped here, then it gets thrown <laughs> out of the airplane, out of the boat, then it gets thrown on your doorstep, then you inspect right. it, then it gets thrown back in the box, then it gets thrown into yeah. a box to go to Amazon, then once it gets to Amazon, it's thrown around in the warehouse. If it breaks, 
Bad news bears. At any of those steps. Think about how many hands are on it. Bad news bears. Yeah. And so I would definitely suggest doing something durable, doing something that's not going to break because when stuff breaks, it gives you headaches. Yep. So the next one, this is getting into stuff that you might not think to look at. So this is anything that's in an Amazon restricted category. Okay. So I'm going to link two links below. These are your lifeguard. These are what you need to look at. Okay. So one of them is going to list a bunch of different categories, which are gated, Yep. which again is a barrier to entry if you can get the gate down. But as a new seller, you're probably not going to know how to get that gate down. Right. Okay. So some of these categories are, I just have to read them here. Automotive and power sports, jewelry, um, watches, grocery, music, um, fine art, services, streaming media players, stuff like that. If you're in that category and you find a great product, there might be a reason why it seems too good to be true. So check out those restricted categories. Also, stuff like firearms is restricted. You know, like anything that could be dangerous yep. is also check yep. that out. So number six is patented products. Ooh. Now we have a video on this. We've sold a product before that was patented. Yep. We got a cease and desist letter. It had to be taken out. Yep. You do not want you to want do that. that. You no. don't want to go through that process, right? It's a pain in the butt. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check if it's patented. There are a couple different ways that you can check if it's patented. You can do a patent search yourself online and you can look for different things. Um, We actually did that, ordered some samples. We thought it wasn't patented, but then it turned out that it was patented. So, you know, if you're not like a patent lawyer, like really experienced, that's kind of tough. One thing that we would recommend, and we can put a link down below, is there is a guy on Fiverr who does these patent searches. He's great. I know that recently... Um, there, there are other YouTube channels that have blown him up, yeah. right? And put his, his information out there. And I know right now he's actually struggling to keep up with all of the work that he's getting, but yeah. he's fantastic. Price isn't too bad. It's like 15, 20 bucks, yeah. but send it to him. He will check if it's patented or not. Make sure you do this because if you sell a patented product, you're going to be in trouble. That's exactly right. So the next one is anything with lithium batteries. So again, this goes back to electronics. A lot of electronics have lithium batteries, but some toys and stuff like that. The reason you don't want to sell lithium batteries is because Amazon is wary of hazmat, which is like, if it gets in the warehouse or it might blow up or anything like that during transportation, it's a hazardous material. So it's a really annoying one. This is one that people don't talk about as much because at first your listing will go up and nothing will happen. And you'll be like, wow, this is a great product. And then like, Five, six days in, after you've already weighed your order, after it's too late, Amazon will say, we've taken it down for hazmat. Please submit 16 invoices, your mother's maiden name, and your credit card number. I'm kidding, but like it's a lot of information that you have to send them. So, and it's a week, it takes weeks to fix, so don't do that. Yep. So, number eight, I wanted to make sure I got the number right. Number Mm -hmm. eight is stuff that competes with a massive brand. Yeah. Now, once again, this is a barrier to entry, right? It takes a lot of money to get past the barrier to entry. But mm-hmm. if you're looking at, at a keyword, right, and the top one, two, three, four, five, six people on that listing are people like Nike, mm-hmm. Apple, yeah. Samsung, LG, uh, who are other big clothing brands, Adidas, <laughs> Reebok. All right. It, it, those big companies, yeah. right? Apple, those big guys. Listen, here's, here's the fact of the matter. I'm pretty sure Apple just costs just past a hundred trillion in their like total worth. <laughs> there's a number. There's a a, a a word for that that is escaping me right yeah, now. Yeah, that's crazy. But those companies have a lot more money than you. Yeah. Just being straight with you, right? <laughs> they have a lot more resources than you. Yeah. They have much better lawyers than you probably have access to, mm-hmm. unless you're like a really good lawyer or something. <laughs> But you just don't want to do it. Those guys have so much money, so much marketing. They have commercials on TV. They have commercials during the Super Bowl for Nike, and then somebody types in Nike something, and it comes up on Amazon. Yeah. You just can't compete with that stuff. So don't do it because it, I've never seen anyone do a product that competed with something like where it was dominated by those big brands and it actually worked. Yep, okay, and so quick plug here, if you're still with us, I know people backspace and stuff, but we're going down to the bottom here if you want a PDF that has all of this listed out. Again, not sure if I'm gonna have time to make it before this goes up, but eventually there will be a PDF down there that says, hey, these are the 10 products that you do not want to sell. And I just want you guys to have something physical in your hands that you can refer to quickly. It's really gonna help you guys out. So the next one is a product 
that doesn't have 200% ROI. So this goes back to our basic stuff yep. that we teach. Like this is our one-on-one stuff. Yep. The product needs to have 200% ROI or yep. it's not a good product to sell. And if you don't know what that means, I'm not gonna discuss it right here. You gotta go look at our other videos, particularly our Check product it. research video. Yep, show you how to do that. Yep. Okay, so the last one that we recommend that you do not sell on Amazon are single units that are always bundled. Hmm. Kel, what's an example of a single unit that's always bundled? Okay, so anything that, any like a toy, so say a, a baby's truck and it comes with a fire station, like a fire truck and it comes with a fire station, it's two items and they're bundled. Or something that is always bundled, like a, um, a two pack or a three pack or a four pack. You're trying to, you come in and you're like, maybe I'll just sell a one pack and I'll sell it for like 40% of the price, don't do that. Okay, people, there's a reason that people are bundling it. If they're on the first page, it's because it's working. Yep. So if you can't make the bundle better, yep. add more value to your bundle, do not do that. Yep. Don't try to cut bundles up and sell them separately. The only thing you should be doing is adding more to your bundles. Yep. One of our first products that actually failed and, and it's not, not just, it's not there. Uh, we actually did that where the whole front page was dominated by units mm -hmm. that were two packs, three packs, four packs. Mm -hmm. And we went in with a single pack and it literally just didn't sell. We got to number one ranked on the first page yeah. for like the broadest keyword. Mm -hmm. We did all the right things, but it didn't sell because it wasn't bundled. Yeah. So don't do that. We have personal experience with a, with a couple of these where you shouldn't do them. And um, I mean, that's really it. That's the list of the 10 categories that you should not sell it on Amazon FBA, according to us, unless you're trying to get in, you're trying to, you know, you have the time, you have the money, to get past those barriers to entry, then they might be good depending on the product. Yeah, and so what I want you guys to do right now is comment below which of these 10 almost got you. So I'm sure there was <laughs> or a got you or, or got, got you already. That would be even better. I, if we get some stories below, that'd be awesome. So what almost got you? What almost ruined your day? And what were you able to avoid? So I think that's it. Thanks for being here. If you're new here, love you. If you're old here, love you even more. See you soon. That was good. I thought it was a great video. I think it's gonna go. I think that was it was very informative. At least a million views. A million views? Yeah. I could see that. Maybe two million. Yeah. I can feel you like share this with your friends so we can get it to a million. I feel like it's not actually a top ten list though. Cause you like named off all those different categories that you shouldn't sell in, so it's really like top nineteen reasons why. Yeah. We're always adding value, that's why. Just adding value, bro. <laughs> that's all.